So I just recorded my last video like two minutes ago, and now I'm going to record this one. So my rant is this. Look, for any of you guys that are panhandlers, or any panhandlers see this, I'm not the kind of person that minds if you come up and ask me for something, um, but I dealt with a specific panhandler today that really sort of set me off, okay? Um, I went to pick up a few things for the house today, and I was, you know, just minding my own business, I was sitting in my, my MP3 player, just not bothering nobody, panhandler came up to me today. Now, her line to me was, um, do you have a dollar or two because me and my kids are hungry? And I said, no, I don't have any money on me, but I do have a debit card. So if you, if you would like, I can go up to McDonald's and meet you guys up there. And I'm not trying to get like a cheap date or anything. I'm recording. I'm recording. Yes. Anyway, um, so anyway, I decided to... Um, I decided to uh, offer that to her, and she surprisingly said no. And I was like, okay, well, I mean, I'm not going to give you any money. I'm not going to go to the ATM or nothing. I mean, if you're hungry, I'll buy you food. She said, no, thank you, sir. And I said, okay. So I go up to the gas station to buy a pack of smokes. And she's there filling her car up. Kind of made me mad. Because she just told me she didn't have any money for food. But yeah, she's putting gas in the car. Now, I understand she might have been on a year, might have only been a few bucks, but if I had kids and they, my kids needed to eat, then the food would come before that. Okay, and I know they have to get back home, but. You know, you're not going to die of no gas, but you can die of starvation. Now, that, of course, set me off a little bit. But I, as she was coming out, I came back in, and she seen that I caught her filling up her car. And I said, look, I said, man, if you really have kids that are hungry, I'll buy you a few snacks. And she, I said, just come in with me, I'll buy you a few snacks. So she picked out some popcorn and a Danish. And I, and, and I bought it for her, and she left. And I'm talking to the cashier there because I know who she is. I go there a lot. So um, we started talking, and I explained to her. She said, well, how's your day going? I said, oh, bad now. <laughs> like, I just caught this lady. Hold on. Ow. Um, and I just caught this lady. Uh... Pan, she's panhandling, and now she's here filling up her car, and she should be feeding her kids. So I brought my smokes, and I come out, and she comes up to me, and she goes, I just want to say thank you for, for doing that for me. And, but, you know, I didn't say this to her, I should have, but the thanks don't go to me. The thanks go to the big man upstairs that allowed me to be able to do something. And, um, because, of course, everybody, everybody knows, even that atheist or anybody else who knows there's nothing that happens outside of this world. They not believe they may not believe in him, but all they're doing is suppressing the belief. But I'm not gonna turn this into a preaching video. Or any kind of religious video. So then, uh, as I'm about to leave the gas station, she asked me for smokes. Like and I just gave her one of mine. And I walked away and I'm sitting here thinking like how mad I am. And I'm still a little bit mad about this, even though this happened a few hours ago. I'm still a little bit mad about this. Because this lady is panhandling, and she's being dishonest about it. Now, look, I mean, will I ever give money to a panhandler? No. And the reason why I don't give them cash is because I've had them, I was working as a, like, as an EMT trainee. One time, and I gave this guy money for food, and then later on, my mom caught him in the alley shooting up heroin. I'm not going to support your habit. I'm not going to support your drug habit or whatever you're not doing or doing but being irresponsible about. I'm not going to support that. I mean, I've taken panhandlers to the store and spent 80, 90, 100 bucks on them, dropped them back off the homeless shelter they lived at, and had and had food for them and the people in the homeless shelter. I, I'll do stuff like that, you know, if I can afford it, but. 
uh, I don't know. It just, to me, I, I guess I just don't understand it. Uh, Subrate, comment below. Let me know what you think. Later.